Don't forget to like and subscribe to Jolie Knott's Crochet. Share with your friends. Hit that little notification bell so you can get notified when new patterns release. All our videos are available in left and right-handed tutorials. Hi everyone, welcome back to Jolie Knott's Crochet. I'm Crystal and today we are going to be making this laced up summer tee. Now this summer tee is designed to be oversized, have an oversized larger fit, but if you want it to be more fitted, you could go down a size than you're typically used to. Now this is a super simple two row repeat. We are going to be starting from the top going down and the stitches we're using are treble crochets, single crochets, and chains. Like I said, just a super simple two row repeat. So any anyone can do it, beginner to advanced and beyond. So when we work this out, I have gotten my first panel made here and I'm gonna make my second one with you guys. Okay, we're gonna make two panels that are exactly the same. It's going to have a short sleeve like this, but this is definitely going to be an oversized summer tee with a lot of drape. It's got a lot of positive ease. We're gonna have about uh, six inches of positive ease total. So I have gotten my arm here, and then we're gonna separate and stop part ways on both sides to leave some space for our arm, and then we're just gonna work straight down for the rest of it. Now, we're not adding a border. We are actually just going to leave it off um, when we get to the length that we want, and it's gonna be kind of scalloped like this, how it's going to be working throughout. Okay, and depending on your yarn, you might wanna give it a light blocking or a steam just to make sure that these are actually hanging the way that you want them. Okay, so go ahead and grab your materials. I'm going to start with a small swatch to show you how to get started on the pattern. And then I'm gonna teach you how to block it off for the arms. And then you'll do the same exact thing for your second panel. And I will teach you how to um, sew up the sides and the top. The yarn that I'm using is from Ice Yarns. The color on this is Quartz. Um, it is a 70% acrylic, 30% polyamide, and this comes in 50 gram balls, so it's about 190 yards. This is a two weight yarn. So with this project, we're gonna be using a two weight yarn and also a 4.25 millimeter crochet hook. Now I will go ahead and leave the amount of yarn that you're going to need per size scrolling up on the screen so that you know exactly how much yarn you're going to need. Okay, so in order to start, the first panel, remember both panels are going to be exactly the same. So you are going to take a slip knot and we are going to foundation single crochet. Now I will leave scrolling on the screen the exact amount that you need to foundation single crochet. So let me show you exactly how to do that. You are going to chain two and now into the second chain from the hook, you're gonna go ahead and insert your hook. Now there are three steps to the foundation single crochet. So we're gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. That's the first step. The second step is to yarn over, pull up a loop, but only going through that first loop on the hook. And now the third step is to yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And that is your first foundation single crochet made. So that is the top of your stitch right there. Okay, so not counting these two loops just underneath it, we're gonna find this, see there's one, two, and then the one right before that. This is where we're gonna insert our hook. So remember I said it was three steps. Yarn over, pull through the first loop. Yarn over, pull through the first loop again and then yarn over and pull through both loops. 
So the first two steps are essentially creating our chain down here. And then the next step is creating our actual single crochet right here. Insert your hook. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull up one more loop, and then yarn over and pull through all of those loops. So if you can see, now we have three foundation single crochets. So the number that had shown on your screen for the size that you're making, go ahead and make that amount of foundation single crochets, and then I will meet you back here to show you the next steps. Okay, so my swatch here to show you the pattern is going to be, of course, much smaller than the one that you have. So I'm just going to teach you how to make the pattern, and then I'm going to pull a panel out, and I'm going to show you how to mark for sizing in the arms. Okay, so once we're done with our foundation single crochet, we are going to chain two and turn your work, and then we're going to put a double crochet into that first stitch. Straight from there, we're going to skip one stitch and into the next stitch, we're going to put three treble crochets. So that's yarning over or wrapping your yarn around your hook twice. One, two. We're going to have three treble crochets into that same stitch. chain two, skipping one stitch and into the next we're going to single crochet. Now chain three, skipping one stitch and into the next single crochet. So here is your repeat. Once we have our single crochet, chain three, single crochet, you are going to chain two and skip one stitch. Into the next stitch, you'll put three trebles. chain two, skip one stitch, into the next, single crochet, chain three, and to skip one stitch, into the next, single crochet. And that's what you're going to work all the way down your foundation single crochet. So you should just be skipping one stitch in between before and after your treble crochets, other than right here in the beginning, you have a chain two before and a chain two after. And then you have chain three in between your single crochets. So now I will chain two, skip one stitch and into the next treble crochet three times. One, two, three. Now, since this is my last group of treble crochets, I'm not going to chain two after it. I'm going to go straight into my last stitch. So I'm skipping one and then into my last stitch, I'm gonna put a double crochet. So you should start and end with double crochets and a group of three trebles, okay? Every single row is going to start and end with a chain two, double crochet, or just end with a double crochet. So our next row is we're chaining two, turning our work, 
double crocheting into that first stitch. Straight from there, we're going to go into this first treble crochet and place one single crochet. Chain three, skip one stitch and into the next treble crochet, single crochet. So you should have a single crochet in the first treble and then a single crochet in the last treble. Now chain two, and into this chain three space between our single crochets, that's where we're gonna put our treble crochets. Three treble crochets into the chain three space. Chain two after your three trebles, single crochet into the top of your first treble, chain three, skip one stitch, single crochet into the last treble, chain two, three treble crochets into your chain three space. chain two. I am now at my last group of trebles and I'm going to single crochet into the first one. Chain three, single crochet into the last one, so I'm skipping that middle one. And because we're at the end, we don't have the extra chain two after this, so we're just going to go straight into the last stitch, which is a double crochet, and then place a double crochet. So this is what your work should look like so far. We are just, all we're doing now is treble crocheting into our chain three and then creating single crochet, chain three, single crochet over our trebles. And it's just going to um, go back and forth, okay? So this is row one, of course, that your, well, your foundation single crochet is what we started with. Row one was the row that we skipped our stitches working into the foundation single crochet. Now this one is row two. We're going to repeat row two and three. So let me show you what row three is, which is essentially the same thing. We're just starting with trebles instead of the single crochet chain three. Okay, let me show you. Chain two turn your work, double crochet into the first stitch. Straight from here, three trebles into your chain three space. Chain two. single crochet into your first treble, chain three, single crochet into your last treble, chain two, three treble crochets into your chain three space. Every row should start and end looking the exact same. Chain two, single crochet at the top of your treble. Chain three, single crochet into the last treble. Chain two, three treble crochets into your last chain three space. So 
straight from there. Remember, we're not chaining two for our N. We're just going to go straight into the last stitch and put a double crochet. So you are going to repeat row two and three until you have a total row count. And I will leave the numbers scrolling on the screen so you can see that total row count. Now keep in mind, once you get your total row count, you're actually going to be ending on a row two. Here's how I'm counting it. One set is my treble crochet row and my chain three. So there's two. One, two. And then beyond this one, we'll have our chain three. Let me show you on the bigger piece that we've got here. So it's easier, in my opinion, to count. I'm working at the 2x size here. So if I am just counting my treble crochet rows or starts, I'm going two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, 20, 22, and that I'm counting by twos because I got a treble crochet row and a chain three row. So when you end, you'll end on one of these chain threes at the bottom. So this is going to be where the arms of your t-shirt are gonna be. This is where your shoulder will be. This will be going down your arm here, okay? So now what we're gonna do is mark our panel. I'll leave the stitch counts from the edge of one going inside. So for the size that I'm working, I'm going to need to count in from the side my chain three spaces. So here's my first chain three space, and I'm going to count over three chain three spaces and then I'll place my stitch marker in the single crochet after my third chain three space. One, one, two, three. So my is ending on this single crochet and I'm gonna go ahead and place my stitch marker there. Now I'm going to come to the other side and I'm going to count the same thing over. And now we'll count the same amount of groups from one end going inside on the other end. So counting my single crochets, my chain threes inside, that's one, two, and then three. And right here at Right here at the last single crochet from the outside is where I'm going to place my stitch marker. Remember yours might end with a group of treble crochets and then you will just put your stitch marker into the last treble crochet. Okay, so you have the choice to either cut your yarn and rejoin it at the stitch marker or you can work slip stitches across or single crochets across. I'm gonna choose to single crochet across and I'll show you where the stitches go. Here's where our single crochets are gonna be. You are going to chain one, single crochet, into your double crochet. Single crochet, into your single crochet. One single crochet into your chain three space. One single crochet into the single crochet. We are skipping our chain two space and we're putting one single crochet on top of each treble crochet. Skipping your chain two space, single crochet on top of the single crochet, single crochet in the chain space, single on the single crochet, and that's just all you're gonna work all the way down until you get to your stitch marker.
When you get to your stitch marker, of course we'll remove our stitch marker. And this will be the last stitch that we work into. So that will be, this is now going to be the start of your new rows. Okay, so now that we are going to be just working our pattern once again, we are going to just consider this our double crochet that we started with over on either end. So from here, I'm just gonna go straight into my treble crochet, put my single crochet. I'm gonna place my stitch marker right back here just so when I come back the other way, I know not to keep going. I mean, I shouldn't because all of the single crochets are there, but that will just help me see where I'm going to stop. Chain three, single crochet over my last treble, chain two, three trebles into my chain three space. And we're just working our regular pattern now between the stitch markers. So we're not working the sleeves anymore. We are just continuing to work the body. Chain two. So I'm going to work my pattern back down to the stitch marker on the other side and then I will show you what we're going to do to uh, finish out the row and start into the next row. Okay, so here I am. I am coming right up to where my stitch marker is, where I am going to stop um, working my arms and continue working my body. So I just have three chains, single crochet into my last treble crochet. And then if you remember correctly, when we started back on this side, when we started back on this side, we just started with the single crochet. Now this is the only time we'll start with a single crochet and that's just to continue with our single crochets right down here. So I will end with a single crochet into that marked stitch. Remove my stitch marker. So from here, now we're gonna repeat just our regular, regular repeats, chaining two, turning our work, double crocheting into the first stitch. Because this is a chain three, we're putting three trebles. Depending on the size you're doing, it might be uh, the three trebles that you're starting with and then you need to do the single crochet, chain three, single crochet. So it just depends on your size, what you're starting with. So I'm starting mine with a three treble group and I'm just going to continue working my way down. Now, of course, the amount of repeats that you're going to do for this is going to be up to you and uh, the desired length that you want. And how tall you are. So you're just going to decide. Personally for me, I did 22 rows in the sleeve and then 22 rows in my body. And that just holding it up to my body gave me the desired length that I wanted, which was just right at the top of my thigh. I'm 5'7". It's going to be different for everybody and where you want your shirt to fit. So you're going to have somewhere between 40 and probably 50 rows unless you're really tall and then of course you want to go a little bit longer or if you want it really short.
that's cool. You could always do a cropped top version. All right, so I'm just going to continue this. Remember, it's just exactly the same. I'm going to end with my double crochet, uh, turn my work, and then restart over. I will meet you back here when I'm done and I'm ready to sew both of my panels together. Okay, so I have my panels both completed. Um, I did go ahead and customize and go two rows longer in the back than I had in the front. And you can do that if you like, you don't have to, no problem. And so what we're gonna do, the right side of our work is where our first row is facing, facing you. So row one was the right side of your work. So you're gonna lay both of your panels out with the right sides facing out. Okay, and what we're going to do is our neck opening is actually really customizable as well. So I'm gonna leave about a 14 inch neck opening. Um, you can leave yours, of course, anywhere from 14, 13 for smaller sizes, 14 for the uh, middle sizes or large, extra large-ish, and then for any plus sizes, you can go ahead and do yours 15 inches or just customize depending on what you would like. So you're gonna count in from each side to find your middle point. Okay, so I have 21 treble crochet groups on the top. So there's 21, so I'm gonna find my middle one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is going to be my middle. And then I'm going to count out behind it from each side until I get to the opening that I would like. So what I'm doing here is just separating out my stitch markers, seeing how wide my opening is, and checking to see that I like that size opening, and moving and adjusting my stitch markers to the proper places to get the proper opening that I want. So this one is a little bit too wide. I'm gonna go ahead and move my stitch markers in a little bit more so that I can get the the neck opening that I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna move those stitch markers in again and recheck my sizing. And move it in just a little bit more. Okay, so here is my 14 inches. I found my middle treble crochet group and went over four groups on each side and I marked that. So you're gonna find that, mark it on your back panel as well and connect them. And then what we're gonna do is sew up the top seam for our shoulders and then also underneath our arm and then all the way down. Okay, so what I've done here is I've found my center 15 inches and I've marked with my stitch markers going through the front and the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do here now that I have my neckline marked off on the top, I am going to join my yarn 
um, to one of these ends on the side. Okay, I'm going to leave myself a long tail for sewing. Take my tapestry needle and the method that I'm going to use to seam up my shoulders and the sides is just the whip stitch. That's my preferred method. You can use whatever method you want, but basically all we're going to do is go through the foundation single crochet. So finding your first foundation single crochet and I am just going back and forth. So through the front and through the other side. From the front through the back on the other side. And I'm just going to keep doing that. all the way up to my stitch marker. Then I'll tie it off and cut it on the other end. And that's gonna be it. So super simple, just seaming it up is the remainder of all we've got to do here. And uh, your piece will be finished. All right, thank you everybody for watching Jolie Knots Crochet. Again, I'm Crystal. You can find me on the Jolie Knots Crochet community on Facebook and show us what you've created. I am also on uh, Facebook and Instagram under Jolie Knots Crochet. You can find me and follow me there as well. Thank you so much everyone and I will see you next time.